All right, hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Trading Bitcoin with your host Tone Vase coming to you live from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm going straight to the charts. I, I wasn't going to do a video today at all, but the market moved a lot. So uh, we're going to go and take a look. I didn't even set up my camera. We're just going to take a quick look at the charts. And uh, that's pretty much it, basically. Uh, let's just go, let's just let the charts um, guide us. We're looking at the weekly chart. The weekly chart has closed very positively as we managed to pump quite a bit on this Sunday afternoon. This is now looking like a beautiful MRI reversal candle. Now, keep in mind that just 12 hours ago, before I was getting on my airplane uh, to go from Cabo, Mexico, over to the center of the US, we were sitting here at a red candle. And now suddenly this closes as a very bullish candle. And let's see if we can have some follow through coming in. Now, this doesn't actually change the weekly picture all that much. I like the fact that the lucid SARS are slowly coming down, but you still have a huge resistance zone right there at 49,000, assuming we can get there anytime soon. Uh, the MRI is, of course, a bullish element to the equation, but quite often it only leads to a one to four candle correction, followed by continuation of trend, which means more downside. But we will see. I've also been saying for quite a while now that. I am looking for this drop to end this summer. So it might have already ended or it may have a little more to go. The daily chart is absolutely key. Uh, this triangle is done. Uh, the current pump off of the Elon Musk tweet that he was an idiot the first time around and now he has to backpedal uh, and say something completely the opposite uh, because he does want to take Bitcoin for Teslas, but now he can't do it because he's, he would be a hypocrite uh, two times over. So he's going to have to wait about 12 months and then admit that Bitcoin is green energy and it always was mostly green energy. And now suddenly he can accept it. So who cares? All right. In either case, I am deleting this triangle because it is no longer. Well, no, actually, I can leave it. Uh, because the triangle did break out to the upside. And this is why in my videos, uh, I don't remember if it was a public video or a private video. By the way, speaking of private videos, uh, I released this week's Q&A. And this is the Q&A for the week of June 8th until June 13th. I mean, this is what it is. I don't understand why every comment is telling me this isn't relevant. This is old. Yes, I know it's old. This is the private Q&A, which I make public on Sundays. You don't have to watch it. But I hate throwing content down the toilet. So if only 10 people from a private Q&A can watch it, it doesn't serve anybody any good. So not every question that is asked to me is time sensitive. And the last hour of this is me trying to explain the dual monetary system of a Bitcoin and a fiat currency within an economy. So not everything here uh, is charts, but the charts from yesterday's Q&A are probably still relevant. Well, maybe not so much now that the market has pumped, but in any case, on Sundays, we are going to release the, the private Q&A. The private Q&A is going to be open to the general public uh, sometime very soon, probably next week. All right, back to the chart. Here's the daily chart. I'll leave the triangle for now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and measure it, and that is $10,000. I'm going to grab it and I'll put it right there. That's $10,000. Can we make it that high up? Maybe, but the huge resistance, the huge, actually, I'm not going to put it there. It's too annoying. 
the big resistance is coming. This is the big resistance. This is the death course. And when price rallies into a death course, bad things tend to happen. Also notice that this blue line, I should probably lower it to there, has not yet been breached on an end of candle close level on the daily chart. Also, you can see we are in the MRI buy counts. And in about three days, you're going to hit another MRI top on the daily scale. So you can have a daily MRI top right near the death cross. And that is major, major resistance. So I remain uh, with the same view I had yesterday that while you can take on a bullish trade at the breakout, I will remain patient. Now, because today is Sunday, GBTC has been totally unaffected. So let's see what happens on Monday when this chart opens back up. Here is the one hour chart. The one hour chart bounced pretty much right at the MRI buy. And we hit an MRI sell a few hours ago and we continue to consolidate. And that's all it is, it's consolidation. We broke above a nice line of resistance. And let's see where this goes. Let's look at the four hour chart. There's not much you can tell from there. The four hour chart was just rejected at a very steep moving average that's going down. Uh, that's where this line comes from. This line is from the four hour chart. The four hour chart is still in a bullish MRI count. And therefore, it could lead to a little bit more upside, but you have just hit resistance. I'm not a Wyckoff guy, so I have no idea what phase B of Wyckoff accumulation is. Not in my, not in my tool shed for trading analysis, Wyckoff. Uh, people are asking, how do you get into the private Q&A? I'm going to, uh, next week, you'll be able to get in. I just want to be done with these conferences. And um, I have a, I'm, you know, driving down to the Lake of the Ozarks tomorrow. So I'm just going to be really busy the next few days. Uh, but after that, uh, I'm going to open up the Q&A for the public. Uh, that's it. Bitcoin dominance looks like it's moving nicely. We're going back. I would love to see this high broken. The prior high broken. Gold just started trading at Sunday night. It's still pulling back. I'm still generally bullish on gold. It's just the pullback. Oil. Well, as I've been saying, I would be looking to exit oil. And if we look at the daily chart, it should be coming up on a daily MRI top in a couple of days. So sometime this week, it's still a bullish looking chart. Like if I was holding oil right now, I'd still hold it. It can go higher, but I would certainly sell on the daily MRI top on Wednesday. S&P 500, I remain bullish. We are breaking out and this could end very, very nicely. So I remain bullish on the S&P 500. And uh, guys, don't forget, uh, the financial summit is coming to Dubai. It is now up for sale. Uh, we are very confident this will sell out because there is a maximum of only 40 people. And uh, this is not a cheap event. Tickets start at 9,000. And ticket prices will rise. Uh, you can see how many tickets are left at each price tier. This is for professional traders and hedge funds and family offices and other high net worth individuals. We have other conferences that are much more reasonably priced, which are understanding Bitcoin and unconfiscatable, both of which are coming back. Uh, and I'll give you more info on that very, very soon. All right. If you want to support, check out tonebase.com. Uh, this is the MRI. This is the advanced indicator that I always use. Uh, you can go ahead and purchase that with a one-time 
a lifetime key. We have the on-demand videos uh, that are significantly cheaper for education. There's also a free education section in Learn Trading. And those that who will be looking for the private Q&A, that would show up right in the products and services section, probably in about a week or next weekend. All right, guys. I didn't I didn't look at the funding rate. Funding rate still favors the bulls. That is great. And the MACD on a daily is looking bullish. Uh, uh, CMF looks okay. I'm gonna go answer your live chat for one second and then we're gonna call it a day. Can you take a look at AEI? I never heard of that, so I'm curious. Oh, how's coin doing today? Oh, it's Sunday, it's not doing anything. Uh, not much of a comment. I mean, you know my rule on IPOs, you wait for a 50% correction. Did this thing correct 50% of IPO? It did, came close, 46. I'll take 46%. Nope, a little more. 47% right there. It corrected 47% of the IPO. That is very close to 50% drop. So yeah, it's possible. Whatever the hell this thing is, it went up like 500% after the IPO, but who cares? See, this is why you gotta be careful with these IPOs. I don't, I don't like to touch them until they fall 50%. This thing fell 47%. Hits an MRI top yesterday, so I would stay away from it. Uh, is a death cross on 25th of March, 2020. Uh, will be the same occurring for this year, March 2020. Was there a death cross? No, it's different. It's different. Because we're rallying right into the death cross. That didn't happen before. We're rallying right into the death cross. Let's see. Let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Guys, I have no idea what Joe Saz believes in. Go on his channel and ask him. Does the MRI video have a trading course? Of course, yes. Uh, just read the site, yes. So if you go to uh, MRI indicator, should say it, should explain it here. Yeah, there's like a five, there's a five hour video. There's a five hour explanation video. I'm sure I wrote it up. It's late. I'm tired. I was also, I also spent like eight hours on airplanes. But yes, it comes with a video. Yeah, right there. Do I receive any videos or study materials? What exactly is included? Boom, there it is. Just, just read the website. Can you look at the bi-weekly Bitcoin MACD? I don't like obscure time frames, guys. By bi-weekly, you mean two week, right? That's what bi-weekly means to me. Yeah, it doesn't look good. It's uh, it's bearish.
I'm just eyeing this death cross and see what, what happens if the price rallies into it. What's my BTC versus cash percentage? I'm seven, I'm about 75% GBTC. All right, guys, I gotta get going. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all on the next one. There are no transactions in the mempool. No one is using Bitcoin right now. So, I mean, lightning's great, but it's not necessary. Remember all those crazies that said, we need bigger blocks because there are too many Bitcoin transactions? That's exactly what they are, crazies. Look, the mempool is literally empty. Empty. No one is using Bitcoin right now. With, there was no emergency that needed big blocks. People are just insane. All right. Um, thank you all so much for watching, guys. And I will see you all on the next one.